It is no secret that teenagers like to experiment, but when drugs and other substances are involved, things can turn deadly. To combat the issue, the Daphne School System, Baldwin County Sheriff's Office, Drug Education Council, and many other programs joined together today. They were providing resources for students struggling with drugs in school. NBC 15's Emily Pounds was at tonight's event. Emily, officials say drug abuse is getting worse in middle schools now. Baldwin County School Resource Officers say the main problem is e-cigarettes and it's getting out of hand. It's a nationwide issue. They're saying one out of five um, high school students are vaping. Um, and then we're looking at like one out of about eight that are not just done at one time. Daphne feeder schools came together Tuesday night to get a hold of the drug abuse that law enforcement and school officials are seeing in Baldwin County. Daphne school resource officer Jamie Hoffman says it's getting worse and worse in middle schools. We're seeing more and every year since 2018 um, is really when we started seeing it. She says Daphne Middle School's number one issue is no longer alcohol, but e-cigarettes saying kids won't put them down. It's easier for them to get a hold of like THC vapes. Um, really as much as it is alcohol and they're choosing that over alcohol. But we do see vaping at the middle school level um, more than we would like and we have, you know, vapes with nicotine and vapes with um, the THC. Amanda Blake is a school counselor at Daphne Middle. She says it's important for parents to have those tough conversations with their kids before it's too late. If they're working with any of the vaping or knowing about all of the, the drugs that are the cool drugs, um, then we can help them to be better humans later and to have great adult lives. To add to the issue, Baldwin County's fentanyl overdoses continue to skyrocket and Hoffman says there is now a concern growing with talk in school. We have not seen it in Baldwin County. My worry is is that they don't know that they're doing fentanyl and they'll get a hold of it and trying to buy another pill. So our pills have kind of dropped than they were in like 2017. I saw more pills in school. Um, but I've noticed recently I have kids asking me more questions, which usually means that they're hearing more. Counselor Blake says just this year they've seen 10 to 20 drug cases in the middle schools. Greg.